Darlene, the Adult Services Librarian. I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about intermittent fasting. You may have heard about it. It's, quote, one of the biggest fads as of right now on dieting, but it has so many more benefits other than just dieting. I personally have been doing intermittent fasting for a year and a half now and cannot tell you how much better I feel. And on top of that, I've lost 60 pounds. So, go me. But you might ask, what is intermittent fasting? It's your spacing out periods of eating and periods of fasting. You might ask, how is it beneficial? How does it help me lose weight? Well, periods of fasting produce a net calorie deficit. So therefore, you lose weight. It has been proven to help inflammation. That is one of the reasons that I started it. I have lupus and it's, that's an, an inflammatory autoimmune disease. So that was the reason that I started it. And it has helped tremendously as far as just the inflammation pain. Um, it can lower cholesterol, blood pressure, and it lowers your glucose. Now for that reason, Probably everybody doesn't need to do intermittent fasting. Um, those that have problems with blood sugar um, dropping, you probably don't need to do intermittent fasting. But whether you start it or not, it is always best to check with your healthcare provider and make sure that intermittent fasting is something that physically is okay for you to pursue. How does intermittent fasting work? And I'm gonna read this to you so I don't mess it up. But Dr. Mark Matson, PhD and neuroscientist with John Hopkins Hospital has been studying intermittent fasting for 25 plus years. He states, our bodies have evolved to go long periods without eating, even a day or so. Our lives have changed in the last 50 years when we didn't have internet or computers and TV programs turned off at 11 o'clock at night. So we went to bed and we quit eating. However, now people are up all hours of the day watching TV and using the internet. And when we do that, out of habit, we probably snack. People are not outside and kids aren't out playing. Therefore, in general, they don't get as much exercise. Matson says that after hours without food, the body exhausts its sugar stored and starts burning fat. So that's how intermittent fasting works. He refers to it as a metabolic switching. Intermittent fasting contrasts with the normal eating pattern for most Americans who eat throughout their waking hours, Matson says. If someone is eating three meals a day plus snacks and they're not exercising, so every time they eat, they're running on those calories and not burning their fat stored. Intermittent fasting works by prolonging the period when your body has burned through the calories consumed during your last meal and begins burning fat. So that's how intermittent fasting works. Um, the longer you go without eating, then your body starts going through the fat that we have stored. You've already gone through your calories. How do you start intermittent fasting? Like I said, it's always best to check with your doctor. It's not something that you just need to up and do because of health reasons that you might have underlying or health reasons that you know of like I mentioned, blood sugar, um, anything like that that might be made worse by intermittent fasting. If you do choose plans, there are several types of plans of intermittent fasting. There's a 16-8, which means you eat over an eight hour period and you can choose whatever eight hour period that you want. If you 
think you can go to lunch 12 o'clock without eating and eat from 12 to 8 and then fast from 8 till noon the next day. You can do that. There's an 18-6 plan, which is what I do. I fast for 18 hours and then I eat sensibly in that six hour window. And you can choose whatever six hour window that you, that is beneficial for you. I like, I start eating between nine and 10 in the morning and then I'm through by three or four. Um, and then I don't eat anything else for the rest of the day. Now, saying that, water is your best friend. When they tell you that hanger is real, it is real. You are going to be cranky, irritable, hungry. You'll probably have headaches for the first couple of weeks. I, I was very irritable for the first couple of weeks when I started intermittent fasting. Now it doesn't bother me to not eat from three o'clock on. Some days are worse than others, but for the most part, it, when I want to eat, it's more psychological than it is anything else. I just, I think I have to eat. There's also the 5-2 plan where you eat sensibly and normally five days of the week and then two days of the week you fast but fasting doesn't mean going that 24 hours without food you can consume about five to six hundred calories a day that day and don't do the two days consecutively like do tuesday and thursday or monday and friday um, but on those two days that you fast just consume five to six hundred calories. When you do that, it's probably important to consume as much protein as you can because protein helps make the body feel full. Whatever plan you choose, it is important to eat sensibly. You can't go on your five days that you're eating or the six hour window that you're eating and eat a bucket of fried chicken and expect to have the benefits. You're still going to have to watch what you eat. You are able to eat more freely. Um, you don't have to necessarily stick to a certain diet to do this. It is beneficial for you to eat healthy though. Um, there is a 24 plan. I personally don't recommend this, but this is something you need to talk to your doctor about. This would be eating over a four hour period and fasting for 20. That may be an issue for people that don't even have glucose problems. Um, that could cause your sugar to drop. So I highly recommend checking with your doctor first before starting that plan. Um, there is also one other plan. It's a 24 hour plan. Though it says um, 24 hour, what you're doing is you're eating one meal a day, whether it's breakfast or lunch or supper. You eat that one meal and then you don't eat again until that meal the next day. So you'll be consuming calories every 24 hours. You're just fasting 24 hours in between. And this is something that you don't want to do several days a week. You might just do one or two days a week. Um, who should not try intermittent fasting? Um, like I said, people who have glucose problems, um, people who take diabetic medication, um, people that take several medications that might be affected 
by the lack of food, um, which would cause the medication to not be um, beneficial if you do not eat food with it. Also, if you have a history of eating disorders, this might um, push you to have a relapse. What can you eat while doing intermittent fasting? Like I said, you can't go crazy while doing intermittent fasting. And during your eating periods, you can't eat a lot of junk food. You're not getting the benefits of intermittent fasting if you're just eating a Snickers bar and a Reese cup and a Kit Kat and a bag of chips and a Coke and a hamburger and fries and then not eating anything else for 16 hours. You didn't really accomplish anything. Um, it's important to have a healthy diet consisting of lean meats, proteins, leafy greens, fruit, vegetables, fiber, and unrefined carbohydrates. You can't pack your day full of fried and processed foods and expect to benefit from it. What are some intermittent fasting benefits? Dr. Mattson explains, when changes occur with this metabolic switch, it affects the body and the brain. Here are some intermittent fasting benefits research has revealed so far. It helps your thinking and your memory. I have noticed that tremendously. It's like my body is not having to continually process this food when I'm fasting in my fasting period. I can think clearer. Heart health, blood pressure, arresting heart rate, physical performance, and I can tell you from that one, that one is true. I don't feel sluggish. Um, I don't feel like, you know how when you eat, you want to take a nap? <laughs> I don't feel that. Um, tissue health and just overall feeling better. Overall, there are proven benefits from intermittent fasting. Just find a plan that works for you and stick with it. You may have to swap up and do the 5-2 plan or the 16-8. And you may find in the 16-8 that, you know, you're really not hungry at the end of that eight hours or, you know, before that eight hours is over. And you can swap back to the 18-6. It's good to trick the body, and I do that every now and then with mine. I will, some days if I've reached a plateau or something, I'll go and have a cheeseburger and fries and eat a little more fatty, high-calorie foods, and it tricks the body into burning calories again or using that stored fat. But I have made these information sheets. You are welcome to stop by the library and we will give you one of these. If you have any questions at all on intermittent fasting, I would love to talk to you. My phone number is 256-831-1750 and I'm extension seven. If you want to email me, my email address is Darlene. Horton at OxfordAL.gov. You can call me anytime if you have questions. Um, I would be glad to talk to you about it. Intermittent fasting has really changed my life in the last year and a half. Um, and I hope that if you decide to do it, it changes yours. Look for more of these spotlights that I'm wanting to do. If you have an interest or a hobby that you specialize in, contact me and I would love to interview you for a patron spotlight on things that you're passionate about, like the intermittent fasting for me. Um, just email me or call me. I will be glad to set up um, an interview with you and we'll work around your schedule. 
anyway, I hope y'all have a great day and I look forward to hearing from you if you have started this intermittent fasting journey. Have a good day.